Hello Scorpio and welcome to your Twin Flame reading for December 2022. Now it's really powerful because as I sat down to record your video and really tune into your energy, lots of noise started to happen next door. Now next door has got new owners in and the house has pretty much not been touched or changed since it's been sold and all of a sudden as I connect with your energy today there's movement in there and there's things being moved around and you know it's like they're moving furniture around and scraping things along the floor and I feel that this is a huge sign of what's ahead for you. Now October and November were stressful months for Scorpio you know you had a struggle you were overcoming fears and obstacles making changes big tower moments coming in to move you where you're meant to be and the place where you're meant to be is right where you are now so everything's moving around and preparing you for the new year ahead so I really do feel excitement ahead in your connection and we're being reminded throughout December to be playful, to have more compassion for our twin, our own journey, ourself, others, and just try and go with the flow. The more you go with the flow, the better things will be. You know, when the ego comes in and brings in fear, struggle, stress, we feel, you know, disharmony and we don't feel at ease and then we struggle with things. So if there is any movement happening, changes at work, changes at home, changes with your twin. All these changes are happening for your higher good. And I feel someone watching is either moving house or, you know, there's some big movement energy coming in where you could relocate. Maybe you're relocating in the new year or you're moving home in the new year or this is what you may be planning to do. And I feel being a witness of that energy next door has really been a sign of change. And, you know, it's also a big sign of things settling down, you know, things settling down, you settling down, commitment coming in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in a beautiful deck. We're using the Spirit of the Animal Oracle and we're doing my twin flame, Georgie's spread, a six card spread to check in with you and your person, the energy around you in December, the lessons you're learning and the outcome of the month itself. So let's do it then. So whether you are watching for your sign or your masculine sign, if you're cross-watching, this reading will resonate with you. So let's get some energy around you. So what do we need to know for you in December? What's the energy around your twin in December? I'm waiting until I get clear cards coming out here. What lesson are you learning in December? What lesson are you learning? I feel it's that one and that one. And what lesson are they learning in December? There's the card. And what is the outcome for you in December? The outcome, the outcome, or, you know, the action. That's what they're saying. It's more about the action. And what's the action that they are taking? Thank you, Angel. So we've got the cards. Let's see what's going on. So we're going to start with your energy. So as I said, you could be the Scorpio watching or you could be another sign, but this is your energy. So, wow, we've got the Hawk messenger. Now, Hawks are birds of prey and they are a great sign that you're manifesting your dreams. Now, I do feel this. I feel since we moved out of your sign and into Sagittarius, there's been a big shift in you. So you're feeling better, more organized, more creative, more ready for what's ahead. And the bird here is a messenger of power, a messenger of strength saying to you that you are manifesting your dreams. And he says, spirit is sending you messages. Focus on priorities and eliminate distractions and open your greater vision to see the signs. So you're going to be receiving lots of signs and symbols and synchronicities and numbers during December to buoy your faith. So as you have a bright future, let yourself ascend to new heights. So you may be going through ascension in December, but you are soaring high, flying high. So ultimately, I feel that this is you being in a higher energy than you maybe have been for a few months. So, you know, you're in a much better place now. You're receiving aha moments, light bulb moments, things becoming very clear, a lot of clarity coming in. They're giving me fear as well. So still dealing with some fears and releasing those, but you know that seeing things from a much higher point of view and a higher perspective eradicates fear, it eliminates fear, it moves it out of the way. So the energy around your person, we've got the swan grace, wow, so first of all, I feel your twin is operating in feminine energy this month, so 
you know, there may be some pain around them as well. You know, because they're missing you, they know who you are, they know you're the divine feminine, the swan is the divine feminine. So they see you in a much easier energy, in a much easier vibration. And I feel they're very grateful for that. You know, they are grateful that you are in a higher vibration during December. And that doesn't mean you've been operating in a low energy or anything like that. It just means you may have been through some struggles that you've now overcome. And your twin is very aware that, you know, it's like there's a breath of fresh air, the light's at the end of the tunnel. It says you, you will glide across the waters of my soul, bring me your wisdom and light. So I feel your twin is gaining wisdom and knowledge and operating in a higher light in December. Help me to transform into elegance and grace and inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty. So you inspire your twin to make changes and be more graceful and more in the energy of love and to go more with the flow of life. So what lesson are you learning then in December? We've got the squirrel and the sea otter, very powerful. So you're learning to choose happiness. You know, that's what the sea otter is bringing in happiness. So you're learning to choose happiness over struggle around the situation you know and this can be hard sometimes for scorpions as well so you know even if you're not the scorpion but your twin is you still one because scorpio tends to react to things you know sometimes without thinking it's just a natural reaction the scorpion has got that sting in its tail so instead of finding the evidence or you know taking a moment to process lashing out can be a natural response or you know seeing the the negative but you're learning how to overcome that right now it says be the master of playful living so make sure this month you have some fun and you choose happiness you enjoy the christmas period the holidays you look for the light and release expectations and enjoy every day so when we have expectations we can get disappointed you know, thinking it's going to happen a certain way or in a certain timeline. Let go of all that and just enjoy each moment. Let worry go and instead choose love. Surrender to the waves because your good destiny of love is short. So you're learning to trust the journey and go with it and flow with it and be in the energy of peace. And the squirrel is always prepared. The squirrel is the gatherer. So gathering information, gathering knowledge, gathering what you need before you react so you prepare to respond. And he says, always be prepared. You are the expert of hard work and hard play. So you may be working hard in December. Make sure you're playing hard too. So that means you're enjoying yourself just as much as you're working. Your chief, a cheerful and fun disposition is a blessing to everyone. So I really feel you're learning how to remain positive no matter what. You're, you know, this leader of light and you're giving to others and other people are inspired and blessed by your, you know, your just being there. You know, your presence is is helpful. It says don't let life's distractions take you off course. Make a plan for the future and life will give you all you need. So you may also be setting intentions for 2023, you know, thinking about what you want, going over the past, giving yourself an honest review of the past. So you know why you've been through what you've been through, what you've learned from it, and there's a lot of power there. So your twin is learning to reveal the truth. Look at this coyote, revealer of truth. So your person is learning how to express themselves and speak their truth in a very loving, calm, and kind and compassionate way, instead of just blurting things out. It says, don't take things too seriously, make time to play. Great wisdom comes from laughing at your own folly. Look out for the traps and tricks of life and learn from them. So your person is really learning how to express themselves and, you know, not take themselves too seriously and, you know, relax about things and, you know, laughing at life. And I feel your masculine is really looking at themselves and thinking, I can't believe I behaved that way. Wasn't that silly of me? Didn't I act foolish? You know, starting to see the funny side in their own behaviour because he's really tapping in with his feminine side. That means he's becoming more spiritual. So the action step that you're being guided to take in December is perseverance with the ram. Wow. So between now and March with the energy of Aries with the ram here, you're being reminded to keep going for what you want. Don't give up on your dreams. Maybe you are an Aries tapping in with this and this could be your sign. But... It's saying to you, you know, you have many gifts. 
no problem can withstand the power of your mind so when you put your mind over your problem or you see things with faith and you have that faith inside there's an inner confidence that nothing can you know nothing can affect you this is about you taking back your power and knowing your truth it says with patience so you're also being reminded to have patience you can reach your mountain top never give up and good luck will follow so your mountain top may be your union it could be a dream or desire you're thinking about right now. But the angel's saying you're going to get there. You're going to get where you intend to be, where you want to be. But it just may take a little bit of time. And I feel this coming in for you between now and March. I feel between now and then there's going to be real power here. So the energy of your twin, what action step they are taking in December, we've got the B. So this is miracles. Miracles coming into your connection. And also the need to communicate because the B is also a symbol of communication. And we've got the word community. It says you are a powerful creator. Your work blesses everything you touch. So I feel that your twin may be working hard during December, blessings flowing to them, spending time with their community or even with family. But they want to reach out to you and tell you how, how they feel. There's this real kind of omen here and I keep saying the word omen because it's like the angels are giving you a huge sign of what's to come of communication it says be open to receiving sweetness you are the queen of abundance and you absolutely are you know you're the queen of abundance your twin knows that that you give them everything so you're the queen in this connection the divine feminine you're the light the high priestess and you guide your twin home so you're guiding your twin home like the smell of pollen, you know, or whatever it is that guides the bee to the, the flower. You're the flower and the masculine is the bee. So this is about everything pollinating, getting ready for the new year. And I feel this journey and your union is pollinating between now and March. Isn't that powerful? But big things ahead. Don't give up. Don't rush in either. You know, the ram energy is very similar to the Scorpio energy sometimes because, you know, the scorpion has that sting in its tail that lashes out. The, the ram rushes in. Take your time. Breathe. It's okay. Gather your information and trust the love. I hope this helps. Have a great month and I'll see you soon.